just have a quote for you that I thought was interesting. So it's a quote from the executive editor at the Institute of Finance and Management, recently from a uh, October 2021 CFOdive.com article. He's saying AP people, they're, you know, they're not just paying the bills anymore. They're the experts, cash managers, data analytics, um, last line of defense of fraud. So this solution is just, um, you know, to equip you to uh, do the best you can with your job. Let's remove those remote tasks, manual tasks that can be automated and really put in the best fit solution to solve your company's challenges. What we find is that employees can adopt to this type of solution a lot quicker and a lot easier, which saves time and energy so they can start using it from day one. Here on the left-hand side, this is where your team will navigate throughout the application, accessing their records, sharing their documents with others. And as you can see here on the top, we have some clearly defined labels to help your team understand where information is located at any time. You'll also notice each time someone double clicks on a particular record, no matter what view they're currently on, they have a visual of the document here on the right hand side. And this is something that we feel is super important because it helps with the integrity of your data management. So instead of pulling this document off the cloud and saving it to my local machine, I can always actively see what I want to work on here on the right hand side but there's no need to download it and actually remove it from its originally filed location. In addition to that, here in the center, we also have some basic functions to help your team manage documents on the day-to-day. -day. So at any time, they can easily edit, they can print it out, they can download it, they can even email it directly from the DocuWare cloud to one of their vendors and or contacts, all within the system. In addition to that, we also have the ability to annotate essentially to mark up a document with any type of notes, comments, uh, maybe highlight something, making it easy to communicate with your team all digitally within the cloud itself. The best part about this markup feature is not only helps your team stay organized and in contact with each other, but it also stays there indefinitely. So if I backtrack a record a few years down the road, I can maybe use the, all of those comments and notes to give a little more context as to what happened when on that record, which can be really helpful come audit time as well. Lastly, if you ever need to send this out, back out to the vendor, back out to a customer or a third party, we have a few different ways where we can simply remove all of those annotations. So in the event that you want to send it out, you can send a blank copy so they don't see any internal communication or comments that your team may have uh, made on the document. To start, I do want to stress how easy DocuWare makes it to import or bring invoices into the cloud system. And we do that by utilizing something called a document tray here on the top left hand side. A document tray is a really easy way for your team to understand and identify where records belong as they import new invoices. You'll notice I have a few example trays already set up, some by department. I have a few set up by record type and one for a particular project. But keep in mind, this is just a demonstration. So these are examples on some of the ways that it can be used. During the implementation process, we get a better feel for your key terms, your internal language, and essentially help your team understand where records should be imported within the cloud. Once these are established, we also make it incredibly easy to physically bring documents and invoices into the system. This includes something as simple as a drag and drop by taking the record and putting it right into the tray. We can also import. So if you did have an existing drive, any type of filing network system, we can easily point to that, pull the document in that way. We also have the ability to scan, essentially making a direct connection between your in-office scanner right to one of these document trays. And lastly, and I would say by far the most highly used feature is the ability to connect to email domains or platforms. In this example, I'm using something from Outlook, but as you can see at the very top right hand side, I have a dedicated DocuWare plugin. This allows me to essentially move records right from my system directly into the DocuWare tray. As you can see, I have a store button. Once I hit that, it's going to move the document and populate it as you see here in an individual record ready to route to the next step. Again, this is just a really high level introduction to these features. There's a lot of other bells and whistles we can add to help with automation and simplifying this process. Once a record is stored in a given uh, document tray, as you see here, the next step is then storing it 
in a secure filing location. In that case, when I double click on a particular document, I now have this store button available here on the right hand side. My team can easily select that and see a drop down listing of multiple locations that they can store this record in. Keep in mind that we can have a lot of permission controls within these particular uh, filing cabinets. So if you wanted to maybe restrict what individuals have access to this filing cabinet, uh, restrict what type of records can or cannot be edited, or simply lock down an entire filing cabinet if you want to have it only available for C-level or particular people on your organization. All of that is something we can customize. Each and every time you store a record in a given filing cabinet, our OCR tool will identify that information on the page and read the data as it gets stored. That makes it much easier down the road to search for your information in various ways, which we can look at in just a second. But more importantly, DocuWare went one step further. And what we've done is created a piece of technology is essentially a form of AI and machine learning that we called intelligent indexing. What this tool does, it actually starts to remember what invoices your team is consistently entering over and over again. And more importantly, what data or information on the invoice is important to your team. The idea behind this is as your team goes to save records into the storage location, we will fulfill data entry. And here's an example of what that looks like. If I take the WB Mason that I have currently sitting in my document tray, and then I move it over into the proper filing location, in this case, accounts payable. Once I make that selection, you'll notice here on the left-hand side, all this information was automatically populated. The indexing tool remembered the vendor, the type of document. Keep in mind, I'm using an invoice for this, However, we can train other record types as well. It doesn't only have to be an invoice. And then on the left-hand side, it remembers the data that I routinely collect and put all of the fields with the right information here. This will dramatically cut down on the time and energy for data entry, but it also can significantly limit the number of human error mistakes, uh, entering the wrong dollar amount, uh, mislabeling uh, someone's name or putting in the wrong character. Not only does this help with simplifying and, and streamlining your data entry, but we can also make changes on the fly. So for example, I'm going to delete the invoice number here on the left-hand side. And where it's located over here on the right, on the very top of the page, normally your team would use their keyboard to key in value, so 1527 and so on. Instead, however, with DocuWare, we have another really useful tool that's called one-click indexing. So instead of keying it with your keyboard, you can instead use your mouse. You can hover over that section, you're going to highlight that block of information, and then you're going to let it go. The information was repopulated there on the left-hand side. So not only does this help me, again, continue to collect data easily, quickly, and accurately, I'm happy with all of the data that we've collected so far on this invoice, and I can simply hit the store button. Once I do that, a few things are going to happen. Number one, the record is now removed from the document tray and stored in the appropriate filing location under that vendor's file. It initiated a workflow. And really, this is where DocuWare shines because um, the idea behind this process is to help your team streamline their decision making, but also give everyone clarity as to where the invoice currently stands and what decisions need to be made. We have a few different workflows that are sort of standard or default within the system. But of course, keep in mind, we can personalize this. So if you ever had to make adjustments, we can uh, include that as part of the overall workflow build out as well. To start, I want to help everyone understand the workflow screen that we're looking at now. On the top left hand side of this box, you can easily see what task or assigned invoices were given to that particular user. Once they go through the training process, they'll also get a better understanding of reading left to right all of the information that's indicated for this invoice. But the key thing is, as I, as a person responsible for this particular WB Mason invoice, instead of having my team members email me, shoot me a message, instead I received a physical task alert, noting me that there's an action item for this particular invoice that I'm responsible for. More importantly, as I just shown, once you double click on the record, I now have a visual of the WB Mason invoice I have to make a decision on here on the right hand side. 
So I don't need to go looking through my records or pulling it up from my desk or a, a, a physical piece of paper copy. Instead, it's sitting in its original location and I can simply view it to make a decision. And finally, here at the bottom is where most of the steps occur with our workflows. But the first thing I would like to note is our geocoding chart collection here in the, in the center of the page. You'll notice that not only do we collect all of the relevant information for the vendor, uh, the dollar amounts, the invoice number, but we also use this OCR and intelligent indexing tool to collect and automate our geocoding collection. This includes our dollar amounts, our geocoding accounts, and our cost centers. I'm sure you can envision this dramatically cuts down the time and energy when it comes to invoice processing because your team can rely on this automation to fulfill the same repetitive information that you find on an invoice. Lastly, on the far left-hand side, we also have some additional options to either A, complete this process, which we're going to do in just a moment. If I had to recheck this invoice, maybe I have someone on my team that send this out to me. So I'm sending it back to them because there's a discrepancy on the invoice and I need their assistance. I also have two options from requesting new to invoice rejected that I can actually send directly to my vendor contact. DocuWare will incorporate the physical W. Mason invoice I'm referring to, and I can draft the reasoning as to what my concern or issue is, and it'll send it out from DocuWare directly to my contact. And then lastly, which I find super helpful for a lot of accounts payable teams, is the ability to put this invoice on hold. In many cases, some organizations are waiting on secondary pieces of information before they can make a decision on an invoice. So rather than filing this away and letting it fall through the cracks for the most part, instead I can set a date that gives me a reminder once I receive that particular information. In addition to that, here on the center of the page below this, your team members can get a clear picture as to not only the information already collected during the storage process, but more importantly, letting them get a clear picture as to what workflow this particular invoice is currently sitting on. The reason that this is important is because DocuWare has a number of default stock workflows built into our invoice processing tool. So for example, the one that we're referring to today using this WB Mason invoice is for our recurring fixed expenses. So we came up with something called Quick Match. Quick Match essentially allows you at the very top, when you think about the vendor master file, to essentially give a pre-approved dollar amount. In this case, anything below the value of $1,000 is pre-approved given the fact that this is reoccurring. The key thing with this is we can set up flexibility behind each and every vendor. So if you obviously have different dollar amounts on different situations, we can build that out as part of the workflow. At this point, I'm happy. I have all of the information I need for this particular vendor. I have my dollar amount in the center. Everything looks good, so I can simply hit the confirm button. Once I do that, you'll notice that I confirm that and approve that particular invoice. It's no longer an action item for me under my task view, and it's now stored away in a different location, which we'll just look at in just a few moments, where I can send that data over to my account software, uh, account processing software as well. Once again, I did mention that we have a number of workflows already built within the system. The one that we just reviewed was by far, I would say, one of our more popular options. But we do have another that's really geared towards larger organizations, especially who have some form of invoice matching. To do that, I'm going to demonstrate it using a U.S. Steel invoice here on the right hand side. And as you can see, this is a much larger dollar amount that we just reviewed. So therefore, we set up a rule with this vendor. What that means is that this vendor requires a three way match. Which, which allows the workflow to go out and look for any type of related documents to this invoice. In this case, a purchase order and a packing slip. Using the center tab now, you'll notice that we have an additional option here at the bottom for related and a three-way match document view. So once your team members select that, it'll pull up an additional tab and give them a clear picture of all of the other documents related to this invoice currently saved within the filing cabinet. So rather than having your team maybe reach out to a different department, go through the filing cabinet themselves, email fellow team members for, for clarity as to what they're looking for, instead they use this one button that allowed them to, to allow the system to pull up all of those documents related to that invoice and give them a clear view before they can make a decision. The three-way match that we're referring to can also be applied to a two-way match and or a four-way match. Again, that customization is a big deal. We can easily personalize it for your company.
In addition to that, I do want to mention we have other workflows that are related to the approver process. As we look at this tab, you can see I have an approver section with a little uh, lock there. What that means is that this system already has uh, this particular, actually, let me go back here to US Steel. This particular vendor has a team member that's working on this processing. So once I make this request, it's going to go over to that team member and allow them to do their process as we're looking at here today. However, we can also set it where this is flexible, or you can choose what approvers that you want as part of the workflow each and every time you actually execute a workflow approval process. It's totally up to you. We can do either or. We can automate the approval process through and through. So as soon as you store it, the right people in the chain get their alerts and go through their process. Or we can set it based on a request where maybe there's a particular situation, a certain dollar amount, or a relatively small project where it needs to go to a person on their team. So you can have both options, either automation or assigning an approver each and every time you want to put that data down. Now, of course, once we have the invoices approved, then what I'm going to do here is give a confirmation for this U.S. deal. And as I mentioned, I have no other open tasks for this uh, on this system. I did all of my processes, but you may have realized that each and every time I hit confirm and close out that invoice, I had additional numbers popping up on my listing option here. What this means is that my application, this all of the invoices that I've been processing, have been rolling up to a ready to export booking file. And this is really important because as you do all of your data collection, you're storing your information with DocuWare, we're doing all of these indexing tools, and we also implemented this workflow to help your team make decisions a little bit faster and easier. But now we've collected all of that data and made it easy for you to pass that over actually to your ERP or maybe your QuickBooks or your Sage, for an example. During the training process, what we'll do is teach your administrators to use our export tool. And this export tool is an easy connection that allows you to select multiple types of applications as well as different outputs for locations. So when I hit this uh, uh, perform export, it's going to give me a listing of all of the transactions that I did this particular day, this particular week. All of that is up to your team and how you do your remittance at the end of the day. As we wrap up, I do want to spend just a little, uh, few more minutes highlighting our search capabilities. Um, as we all know, searching for records. Um, that are already filed away can be pretty tedious. Um, with DocuWare, however, we can dramatically reduce uh, the amount of time and effort it takes to find some of your documents. Um, you'll notice when I go to the search categorization here, I have a long listing of selections. The best part about our filtration system is that everything is running in real time. What I mean by that is if I make a selection on the document type and I select invoices in, it already ran a search for me, and it's now pulling only from that category of a document type. So as I go through and look at other fields, it's eliminating other, uh, other documents that are not relative or pulling from that invoice category. So simply, once your team gets used to this process, they can use this drop-down filtration system and literally find that needle in the haystack, as they say. Similar to our other capabilities, all of these headers on the left-hand side can also be customized. So if you have a particular language or additional data that you like to collect uh, from a particular invoice, you don't have to only rely on our default searches. You can, of course, add some flexibility and uh, personalization to that as well. So once again, today was a really high-level introduction to the application. Um, there are several features and services we did not get a chance to introduce, but ultimately, we hope that this is enough to spark some interest uh, and take some time to learn a little bit more about how DocuWare can help you in your organization.